Earth on West Dakota, Fox News at 9. Fires ravage Southern California. Plus, a local phenom is headed to Carnegie Hall. But first, the acts and the reacts. We'll show you who's out of a job on Capitol Hill and what local lawmakers have to say about it. This is West Dakota Fox News at 9 with Molly Martinez and meteorologist Henry Blakes. Your first news of the night starts right now on West Dakota Fox News at 9. Good evening, I'm Molly Martinez. Another Democratic lawmaker out of a job over allegations of sexual misconduct. Minnesota Senator Al Franken announcing his resignation today. Reporter Caroline Shively has the reaction from Washington. Back, 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 back to the Democratic Senator Al Franken announcing he'll be resigning after multiple allegations of sexual misconduct. I know in my heart that nothing I have done as a senator, nothing, has brought this honor on, on this institution. Franken is the second congressman this week to resign from Congress following Michigan Representative John Conyers. In his resignation speech, Franken said he was disappointed to go, but first took a parting shot at the president and Republican Party. I, of all people, am aware that there is some irony in the fact that I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office. Franken also mentioning Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore, who the Republican Party is backing, despite multiple allegations of past inappropriate relationships with teenagers. Analysts say Democrats are hoping to pit their party's decision to oust accused harassers against what some see as the Republicans' decision to overlook them. He did the right thing, he did the honorable thing. Now it exposes the greater contrast North Dakota Congressman Kevin Kramer is weighing in on Franken's resignation, saying Franken has had to walk the line between being a serious United States Senator and being the funniest person in the room. What he was accused of doing, particularly you know, when taking pictures with women, seemed to be something that he didn't understand was wrong. That, that, that this isn't Hollywood, this isn't Saturday Night Live. Um, they're not asking to have their picture taken with you because they, you know, they're enamored with you. Um, you're their senator. Millions of taxpayer dollars have been spent settling sexual harassment suits against lawmakers themselves. Today, Senator Heidi Heitkamp helped introduce a bipartisan legislation to provide increased protections for victims of sexual harassment in the workplace. In a statement, she said, For too long, victims of sexual harassment and assault in some workplaces have been forced into an arbitration process that sweeps systematic issues of abuse under the rug and denies the victims the justice they deserve. Time now to take our first check on weather with meteorologist Henry Blakes. Hey, the warming train is underway. For the most part, if we do get any snow activity, not really expecting accumulation this time around, but I am expecting more of a warm up as we head to your weekend. All right, thank you, Henry. We're learning a body was pulled from the Missouri River last night. The Burley County Sheriff's Office responded to the Hog Island northwest of Bismarck about 6 p.m. after they received a report of a missing man. They found an open spot of water, which led them to believe the ice had cracked. The swift water team went in and discovered the body. Officials say the man was in his late 60s and early 70s, and his name has not been released. Happening now, Bismarck police are asking your help in locating a young woman who was last seen Tuesday night. Take a look at this picture of 21-year-old Camille Lynn Crow. She was last seen in the 100 block of London Avenue. Officers say someone went into her room Wednesday morning and discovered she was gone. They say her window was also wide open. Police say Crown has a medical condition that requires her to take medication daily. She is between 5 foot 2 and 5 foot 4 with black hair and brown eyes. And an update on an arson arrest earlier this week. According to court documents, 42-year-old Darren Weber admitted to his probation officer that he started a Bismarck apartment fire Sunday because he wanted to kill his roommate and go back to the penitentiary. The documents also show that Weber went into his roommate's room with a hammer and knife with the intent to kill him before starting the fire. In Richland County, authorities are investigating a chemical explosion that sent a, quote, large fireball into the air this morning. The Sheriff's Department says it happened at a small storage shed at ABU Trailers in the town of Dwight. They say the chemicals pose no risk to the public and are trying to determine the cause of that fire. 
Today, the Stories River Joint Board voted to award nearly $100 million in contracts for Minot flood protection. The bids are $20 million under the original budget. That additional money means spending elsewhere in the city. Well, the fate of state extension agents are up in the air after a 14% budget cut of services. NDSU's extension service provides educational programs for agricultural and natural resources. One Sheridan County woman says if the, co if the county loses its extension agent, she would have to travel more than 50 miles to get those same services. Some more budget cuts to tell you about. President Donald Trump's 2018 fiscal plan could affect the Bismarck Department of Parks and Rec. The department received community development block grant funds, which are now on the chopping block. The department used those funds throughout the year to improve accessibility to their playgrounds and parks. Since 2010, five projects were funded by the CDBG, totaling $150,000. We would miss the funding. Uh, each year we do apply for a project. We have a number of projects in our community that this program fits uh, well with the projects that we take a look at. Few other organizations that could be affected are the Salvation Army, the Welcome House, and Youth Works. Another fire popped up a short time ago. This is near Bonsall, California, dubbed the Lilac Fire. It started as a brush blaze and now has scorched over 150 acres, forcing a major highway shutdown. Crews are hitting it from the ground and from the air. Some viral video out of this fire. A bunny rabbit found himself on the wrong side of the fire line, but was saved by a good Samaritan. You can see the man struggling to chase down the bunny by the side of Highway 11, by Highway 1 in Ventura. But he isn't fast enough to grab the animal before it runs in the brush. He finally is able to scoop him up and get him to safety. NASA is releasing some incredible images of the smoke from this fire seen from space. You can see the orange at the top there and the flames on your screen. These are images of Ojai, Santa Paula, and L.A. Conchita. Here's a different angle. Take a look at the smoke trails. You can see how fast this wind is moving westward. Time now to take a look at our own winds with meteorologist Henry Blakes. Welcome back. Remember that old joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Plenty of performers dream of making it to the Big Apple. And for one Wilton girl, that dream is coming true. High school senior Kendra Shrill is one of 700 students to perform at Carnegie Hall this February. She's part of the 2018 High School Honors Performance Series. Kendra was nominated by her music teacher. Another local favorite shooting to the top, Bismarck High School graduate Kyle Becker. Tonight he won on Jeopardy for the fourth time. Today Megan Hoffman caught up with some of his former teachers. Well, Bitcoin is breaking some pretty impressive records today. The digital currency jumping to $19,000 before falling sharply. Now one Bitcoin is worth $17,400. It's a shame, Henry, we didn't invest in Bitcoin. We'd be millionaires. Yeah, we should have. Hey, maybe they'll go down and then come back up again. But hey, weather-wise, we are talking about waking up in the 20s for our Friday morning. Not too bad.